Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's a bit late in the day and it's winter. It's been a while since my last update on this thing. Um, but yeah, here's update number two on this Dodge 1984 Dodge Omni GLH project. As you can see in here, there's quite this mess of wiring I've got going on in here. And that's because I had to pull out the entire old wiring harness and I've been patching it up and so that it'll actually function. As you can see, the there's a rather nicer looking carburetor on here that I got from a pick and pull yard uh, that I've been slowly hooking back up. Um, you can see the old carburetor over here for um, comparison. It's a bit, it's in more parts because I had to take it apart to get it out because it was a pain in the butt. But I got it out and it looks a whole lot, this new one looks a whole lot better. I got a bunch of vacuum tubing to replace in this thing. But thanks to my wiring harness fix, and I'll be cleaning it up, don't worry. It won't look this bad forever. But with my fix, if you guys can listen, you'll hear that if you look, some of the gauges are working. And you can hear it cranks. So I've got that going for me. Got a bit of leakage down there. And down here in the floor pan. Oh yeah, I don't think I showed you guys this because uh, there's still carpet down here. So yeah, here's the floor pans. They look a bit nasty, rusty looking. That's all pretty much surface rust and whatever buildup. So yeah, no big holes. These are all like, these are seat holes and such and these are frame bits and that's a drain plug hole. But all this, mine except for this, is the worst of it. But as you can hear, it still sounds pretty solid, so I might not have to do a whole lot of patching. Major hole is still under there. Uh, still everything's just back in there. Uh, come around the back. You can see new hatches on. Um, I also uh, had a fun time playing around with the key on this thing because I don't have this came from a pick and pull yard as well and so it didn't come with a key and so I took this lock cylinder out and the lock cylinder from that thing over there I pulled the pin lid the lid that covers all the pins out off and very carefully swapped the pins of that one into this one and then flipped them around again so that it actually works so now this works with the key I have and so I'm able to pull, open it up and out. So that's really nice. As you saw, the gauge, some of the gauges are coming to life. Uh, one of the things that'll, one of the things that lights up is the parking, the parking brake lights up. Um, as you heard, it cranked over in here. So that's really cool. Um, Got to chain, put the cut, cast back on this nice new battery so it doesn't drain itself. Yes, I know the battery cables look horrible. Don't comment about that. I'm getting new ones, so don't worry about that. Got other parts coming, like I have an alternator coming for this thing, because the alternator I got from a parts car is the pulley shot, and I'm pretty sure the whole thing's shot as well. I've got some new belts coming, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Unfortunately, one of the unfortunate things about not having things that have been sitting around a lot, this door handle worked last time, and I broke it. So now I gotta replace it. Whoopee. I fixed this door handle, um, so that it actually opens now, but the door and there's something wrong with the door internals of this so I can't open it consistently but I actually got it open and out so this door now functions I need to get in here and siphon off all this old gas um, actually I don't know if this work this this thing works anymore right now because I haven't tested I know the front wipers work after fixing all those electricals this isn't hooked up right now because uh, this is a newer age uh, this hatch is from a newer vehicle or newer Omni. And so the 84s didn't have this Cyclops eye thing in the back. And so the, the plug that's right, right down here, it doesn't actually hook up into anything. So I got to do some splicing in there to fix it. And so it actually works. Cool thing I figured out. So if you remember guys, I showed you that switch back in there in the cabin and I didn't know what it went, went to. So I figured it had to go to this. So when I hooked that battery up, um, and then I stuck up one of the little spare, like that light bulb. It's so I got to spare a bunch of random juggle ones. Hook that up to that. And so 
this rather mysterious switch down here. That's off, that's on, off, on, off, on, off. So that's really cool. So that actually still works. And that's one of the defining features of the GLH is it has those front fog lights that whoever the first person who had, the previous owner had, they, or maybe a tweaker or whatever stole them, they stole the lights on this thing. So I don't have fog lights right now. Um, while we're here, I'll show you some of the things working on this Omni. Yeah. Oh, well. I'll, I, have a gla I have a glass that I can replace this with. Come on. I just need to fuss with it. If any of you got information on how this glass is on the Omni, I'd be really thankful. I'm pretty sure it's gluing given how this looks, but I'm not too sure. I'm used to gasket windows with that thing over there. Uh, so I'm not too sure about how the glass will go in this. If it's, ga if it's gluing, I'm just going to take it to a shop. If it's gasketed, I'm going to do it myself. So look up there. Lights work. The high beams don't hook up. This is a light. Dims. That's really cool. Um, indicator lights up on one side. No indicator on the other side. And then... That's going, oh, oil. There's a parking brake light in here. There it is. There's a parking brake. Doesn't work all the time. Um, and then, that's worse. And, ah, that works too. And <laughs> it sprays as well. So that's, Okay, that's good to know. So, in this position, it just turns on. And if you push it over, it sprays. That is hilarious. So that's good. So that works great. Um, one of my other projects is, yeah, that doesn't look so good. Uh, this 84 has linkage shifting. So that's curious. So I got a linkage shifter system in here. It's not hooked up fully to the tr the um, transmission, but um, yeah. So I got a futz with that, but the bushings are all shot to heck. So I might got try to change it out for a a cable clip a cable shifter system. I've heard those are good. I can get parts for those. I can't get parts for this this uh, linkage clutch or not clutch. Clutch is linkage. This is. Or no, it's cable, cable clutch, and linkage shifter. Need to change that linkage out for maybe a, a, a cable shifter. Also, here's a cool thing about these old '80s cars: is you can't turn the key once you get it past this point. You can't turn it back. You have to push a button right here. You gotta push that in, and then you can take your key out. Or there it is. So you can't take the key out here. Can't you take the key out here? Once you get, whoops, and then you put, there's a pin in here, I need to push back in to lock this this thing in. But you get it to here, you can't turn it back. And pull your, you can't pull your key out either. But you get to push the button. So, well, fun fact about these things. Yeah, I gotta get the water. So, yeah, things are coming along nicely in this thing. Stuff is working, stuff's not working. I need to grease up the link, the door hinge systems because I'm pretty sure they're shot. But yeah, uh, these tail lights light up mostly. I need, there are probably some bulbs that are bad. Under there's all my parts and stuff from the inside. So yeah, I've got some things to find, leaks to fix, stuff to grind, stuff to fix. I gotta redo all four brakes. Um, I need to change out the tires on these as well because they're shot. But I have some, we have some spare tires here that are the right size, and they're still good. Just need to pull these old, these are from a Volvo 240. So need to pull these old Volvo 240 rims off, take the tires, put them on my rims. And so I have something to roll around on and it's not sitting on flat tires all the time. Like it's, but then again, it's been sitting on flat tires for 20 years, so I don't think it really matters that much for it. But yeah. I've got a lot of work still left to do, but 
Stuff's working, stuff's turning on. There is signs of life in the vehicle. They're just coughs instead of a nice little hum. But yeah, this is update number two on the GLH. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.